Well, the lockdown definitely made things worse. But Dr. Adam... Antonio. Dr. Antonio. I'm sorry. I have never seen him like this in our six years of marriage. When you say like this, can you specify some of his behaviors that are really bothering you? Of course, if you don't mind, George. No, go ahead. Well, he always makes a mess. Our entire apartment is a complete disaster because of him. He never cleans up after himself. And he seems as though he enjoys making the mess. Ah! Ah! It's just fun sometimes. You just don't like me to have fun. You call that fun. How about respecting our shared space and not distracting me when I'm watching my favorite show, The Handmaid's Tale in the Living Room? The <laughs> Handmaid's Tale. The show is depressing. I love that show. Yeah, I don't like it. And also talking about shared space. What about your four hour long Zoom meetings? from our living room, huh? What about the Zoom meetings, George? You tell me. Well, thank you for your interest in our products. Sunbum has this great new line. It's selling very quickly and getting wonderful reviews. It's a three-part series. We start with our Face 50, perfect to keep your face nice and fresh. And then we move to the Body 30, great for the arms and legs, don't forget the feet. Always important, a lot of people forget that. Um, and lastly in our series is the cool down. In case you do get a sunburn, you know you can always cool off with this. It's been a wonderful product. We're getting a lot of great feedback on this, but they are selling out quickly. So hopefully you can take part in our special that we're offering today. You know, all this sounds very interesting. I'm, I'm very excited to talk to you actually. Um, but my question is for you, since I have two kids and they love to play outside, I, I, I simply can't keep them inside. Um. Have you guys thought about renting a bigger apartment? Yeah, I mean, we talked about it a couple of times. Well... Dr. Andrew. Antonio. I already told you, Antonio. I apologize, sorry. It's okay. George would need to get a job for us to be able to afford a new apartment. The job topic again, of course. Yeah, I'm trying to get a job. You still don't have a job, George. I know, but I'm practicing every day and you see it. Practicing a job is not the same as getting a job. Yeah, well, you have to practice a job to get a job. You're trying, but you're still not getting one. Guys, remember, we're here to listen to each other and be able to find the best solution to our sessions. Doctor, uh... Doctor, can I be completely honest here? Go ahead. These are not the only weird things that he does. Most of my frustrations came to light during lockdown. Like when I ask him to make dinner. He only throws a pizza in the oven every time. Yeah, pizza is a decent dinner. Oh, when I ask him to find a job. He practices his job skills in the living room and his job choices are completely useless. F what? You call those amazing, beautiful job skills useless? George, <clears throat> I have a question for you.
What's your dream job? Even if it's like unrealistic. Well, Dr. Alfredo. Antonio. Oh, my bad, sorry. I really like stand-up comedy. Stand-up comedy is my big, big dream job. <laughs> oh, God. I tried open mics before COVID, of course. And I think it went pretty well. Well, then tell us a joke. A joke? Yes. Um, yeah, I got one. Uh, so there are two soldiers with really tiny, tiny, teeny guns. They go to army and they, the, the commander sees them and he says, oh, wow, you got tiny gun. Oh my God. So he sends them back home and he says, you can't shoot far enough. So your wife won't appreciate it. Boo! Boo! You got another joke or are you done? Because guess what? We're done. I, I have another joke, which uh, is funnier, I promise. For this year's anniversary, my wife, she wanted a pearl necklace. Apparently she liked the one I gave to her mom. Okay, you suck. You suck. I told that great that joke in four, fourth grade. Okay, you're 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 awful. You're all. I, I want to cut my own face off and eat it. Anyone else? Anyone else? Better find another job because this is. I'd rather you know. I'd rather go home and put my head in my oven at three fifty, broil this brain, than sit through this crap. I'd rather climb. Not take the. I'd rather climb to the top of the Eiffel Tower, eat a baguette, choke, and fall off. Okay, this is absolutely insane. You ever been in a lift with someone with diarrhea? That's better than this crap. All right, write a joke, bud. Okay, write a joke. You ever eaten a bat in Wuhan? That's what I want to do, right? What are you looking at? That's what I want to do right now. You know what I'd rather do? I'd rather stand on the rim, the south rim of the Grand Canyon, and throw myself off and hit every fucking pebble on the way down. Okay, so it says comedy club out front. It says comedy club. It doesn't say shit box. All right, I want my money back. God! What are you looking at? Sweet Jesus. Now you suck donkey balls. Yeah. Anyway, in high school. No, no. Yeah. That's good that you're still continuing looking for a job. But now let's do this. Let's do this meditation. It's an imaginary meditation. So for that, we'll close our eyes. So both of you, please close your eyes. And let's imagine something magical. Let's say you're dancing on a stage. Let's say you're dancing ballet. This imaginary world is about partnership and support. We only have one stage to share together. Everyone in the audience is enjoying watching you dance together. Everything you share is what they will be left with. Now breathe in. And you're one with the nature. And breathe in. And you're one with the nature. Breathe in again. And you're one with the nature. Now count three. You'll open your eyes and everything will be good. One, two, three. I didn't like the tights. What? The tights I was wearing, I didn't like them. Well, then don't imagine the tights. Well, but if it's ballet, I have to wear tights. <laughs> you don't have to wear tights, you could have worn pants. No, I have to imagine because it's ballet. You don't even know what ballet is. I know what ballet is, I tried in the living room. All I'm saying is if you don't like the tights, then don't imagine them. 
Well, the tights are part of ballet and I was wearing them. You're starting to ruin my imagination now. How am I ruining your imagination? It's in my imagination. Because in my imagination- Guys! Can you both not ruin this magical moment, please? But all I'm saying that tights are part of ballet. It doesn't have to be with tights, George. Yeah, it has to be with tights because their outfits are like that. Just use your imagination with your brain. Well, do some research and know what ballet outfits are. So okay, good. that's enough. Get out of my office! Oh. Nothing is perfect, okay? And you're not kids, just deal with it! Dr. Adolfo. Antonio! My name is Antonio! A-N-T-N-A-A-I-A-O! Antonio? Antonio! <laughs> I'm sure your parents love you. If they dug deep, they'd find love for you. Good. I'm really proud of the progress you've made with me in the last few months. All right. Listen, I want to do an exercise with you, okay? Okay. Good. So I want you to close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's just trust this now. Deep breath in. And think, I won't always be single and out. Oh, good, good. One more in. Animals like me, animals like me, and out. <sighs> Good. One last deep breath in. Your parents love you. I'm almost sure of it. <sighs> out, out, out. Good. Let that go. You already look more relaxed. Okay, do you feel that? Yeah. Okay. You know, you've done really good work today. Thank you. You're welcome. I like working with you. You're... You're an important client to me, Alex. Antonio! Antonio! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so deep breath in and out. And uh, uh, Antonio, I got it now. Pay Lind on the way out, okay? All right, no, we, do, we don't validate, don't ask. Don't ask. Antonio. Antonio, how could I have gotten that wrong? I've got a degree. Deep breath in. If I, it doesn't work, I quit.